Hello students, uh, this is Professor Karishma Gangude from Department of Civil Engineering. So, in previous lecture we have started great analysis, we have discussed few concepts that is definition, importance and purpose of great analysis. Now, in this series, uh, we are going, in this lecture we are going to discuss the factors affecting the great analysis, okay. Some are the major factors, some are the minor factors, as you can see on the screen, okay. Major factors will be material and labor and minor factors will be special equipments, place of work, magnitude of work, condition of contract, profit of the contractor, specifications and miscellaneous. These are the things that we are going to discuss in detail in this lecture. Okay. Now let's start with some major factors. You know factors affecting the rate analysis in which major factors are the materials and labor always remember this. Okay. As the material can be calculated by knowing the specification of the item, the price of various materials depends upon market conditions. The cost of material is as delivered at site inclusive of transport, local taxes and other charges. Okay, For tools and plants and miscellaneous petty expenses which cannot be uncounted in accounted in detail. So, Lump sum provision is made, okay, and it is a way. It is also necessary to include a certain percentage of wastage of all the materials to coverage breakage, losses, cutting, and waste, etc. Always remember this, okay. While doing rate analysis, we always firstly compute the material required for the rate analysis. For example, if we compute the rate analysis for the plastering, we have to know the uh, know the proportion that is. For example, 1 as to 2 as to 4, we get uh, the sum and and what we have to do in 1 as to 2 as to 4, we have to find the dry quantities, weight quantities, then volume of the cement, volume of the fine aggregate, volume of the coarse aggregate, likewise. So, first major factor is material and about the material as market changes, market condition changes, so, material is the factor, it's totally depend upon market conditions. Some, sometimes there will be the shortages, sometimes there will be the uh, falling prices. That will also happen in material cases, okay. So, this is the very major factor which is affecting rate analysis. As material cost increases, rate analysis also total increases. That is, total cost is increasing now. Material and then ultimately labor too, okay. When we are discussing about the material for the particular quantity of the particular quantity, uh, we have to add some wastage also. For example, if you are doing concreting, we have to add like 52% of the wastage. It because it's too large, okay. But it is uh, it is happens on site. Sometimes breakage of the uh, something happens, something is lost, uh, someone is stealing uh, at fine aggregate. Cement bag is uh, while while opening the cement bag, cement is uh, loss of cement. So that type of wastage that we have to consider. So for that we have to add some percentage of wastage also in materials. So here uh, some major factor which affect on the rate analysis is the material. Now talk about the labor. Labor is the force. Okay, it is the you uh, man force or uh, you can say human resource okay which will be necessary to arrange the materials in proper way so that the items can be com completed means whatever will be the construction item you cannot complete without the labor you you have the material you have all the resources but you, if you don't have any labor how you will complete your work so labor will be the important force or important factor which will affect on rate analysis the amount of labor force is to carry out the unit of particular item is decided from past experience okay or in the or in case of complications complicated items it is decided by carrying out a sample of that item that's it okay likewise uh, many of contractors or civil engineers have experienced that for the particular item of work you have to need uh, this this number of labors like one mason, two must do, one beastie, etc. So this is come up with experience. Okay, so for that you need to go on site and practice of uh, actual construction. So for so this is the major factor 
which is effect on the rate analysis okay the labor force required it's also depend upon the efficiency of labor how your labor is efficient okay how much is is efficient if if the one labor is efficient so you need no, less less number of labors for the completing the particular item of work but if you have the less efficient labor team okay so you need more labors to complete that same task always remember always remember this so efficiency of labor it also the main factor uh, while considering the while considering the uh, labors okay the labor force uh, the rate of the labor force is vary from place to place and also their uh, prices their wages are also varies from place to place so by knowing the amount of labor force and wages of the labor the cost of labor can be calculated as rate analysis is nothing but the cost of the material plus cost of the labor okay these are major factors affecting on the rate analysis now let's discuss about the minor factors minor factors are the first is special equipment special equipments we can say or different type of tools and plants that are necessary for the execution of the particular construction work okay and a good estimator will decide whether purchasing is more economical or hiring that equipment equipment or tools is advisable so this is depending upon your experience again if you found that uh, to purchase any particular equipment like crane it is not advisable now it is not purchasable you cannot decide uh, so you can decide it by using your knowledge that we can hire the crane for our basis to uh, to complete that construction work or if you uh, require any uh, earth movers okay loaders or jcb so for that you don't need to purchase 25 26 lakh of machine for that single work okay you just need to hire an hourly base and you are, you have uh, you will be completed that and that machine can be completed same work on the hiring basis also so this is a minor factor at a special equipment uh, so you have to decide whether it it have to purchase or either it will be uh, it should be hired okay on our your daily basis whatever now another is place of work place of work matters a lot it means uh, because if site uh, if if suppose your site is in remote area okay then ultimately your transportation charges of the material will increase and similarly labor charges also varies so if that is if site conditions that i want to say is if site conditions are difficult cost will be more so this this factor also affect on rate analysis that because we ultimately calculate the value in our rate analysis okay we found out the quantity in detail estimate and we have to calculate the proper amount proper cost for that particular item uh, just say if you have to work uh, if you have to do construction in a uh, mines okay so in that so that place of work is very dangerous hazardous okay so in this case you have to pay wages it's so much high than normal ones okay so it's all depend on site condition of work uh, how much you will be cost so this is the factors which will be affect on rate analysis now the next is magnitude of the work magnitude of the work as it simply denotes greater the magnitude means great or larger the work lesser will be the cost it because you will uh, you will purchase lots of material in bulk okay you will providing employment to the laborers for the number of days or for few the year or for the years it does like the uh, dam project or irrigation project or we can say highway project or flyover project there you require laborers for the number of the days for the long period and you are purchasing cement concrete steel all the cement steel sand all the material in bulk quantities so, so when you uh, when you purchase in bulk you get the less cost okay you will uh, require the less cost that particular work so magnitude of the work also the factor which affect on the rate analysis okay now let's talk about the next uh, next factor which will be the condition 
which will be the condition of contract so condition of contract uh, is the fact that i can i will explain this i am explaining this uh, in this what happened if you are putting so and so condition for the particular work like owner is putting i want to this also i want to this also i want a lining to i want a uh, this type of material this type of specification he has given the size will be this and only this okay or uh, it should be completed within two months even though it is large project or, or it should be completed in six months so he is applying condition he is giving condition in contract that we have actually signed so for that what we do we cost more rates okay because if we have to complete work within time within speculated time that we we have to require more number of laborers more number of advanced machineries to complete that task or to complete that work and hence your cost will be more okay if the condition if the condition of contracts is very steep the rates are high always remember this so this is the factor which also affect on the rate analysis now move towards the next factor is profit of the contract yes uh, normally as we know 10% of the actual cost of work is considered as the contractor profit so whatever will be your actual cost that is material labor etc so all these uh, all these cost of all this cost i have to give 10% to the contractor okay so this is the factor if you have project of 1 crore then you need to uh, uh, you need to pay 10 lakhs only to your contractor so it's also big now so this is the factor uh, which also affect on your rate analysis now next is second uh, second last is specification it shows the proportion of the material as we have discussed specifications Uh, in third unit detail estimate that uh, how much it import important in our estimate okay so specifications are what that are actual showing proportion quality method of construction in like this uh, this way only this construction can happen okay uh, then we can say execution of work means uh, particular thing like specifically mention everything is everything is mentioned specifically there so these are the specification if superior quality of material is issued in specification so rates will be higher if you are purchasing the high grade high grade copper high grade cement okay so you need high rates okay high higher the you need to pay high high cost so ultimately as quality will be higher in specification so rates will be ultimately higher okay so this is another factor which will be affect on the rate analysis now the last factor in minor factors is miscellaneous miscellaneous that is the time of uh, miscellaneous will be anything that is time of completion of work like if climate it will be unusual like uh, if it will be so much of uh, rain like heavy rain will be there you can't complete your work okay if if certain natural calamity happen you can't complete your work so time goes up and uh, your rates will be high and so so it also i just want to say ki miscellaneous or anything can happen or uh, at the time of construction or at the time of execution if or any accident will occur on the site uh, so that time you cannot work okay so that leads to the uh, late in, uh, late completion of your project so that also affect the weight of the item okay so these are all the factors that i have discussed uh, each and every aspect i think of the rate analysis okay uh, every factors is so much important so we have to consider it carefully while preparing the or while doing the rate analysis okay hope you have getting all the concepts uh, if you have any doubt just ping me in comments section okay thank you so much children we'll see you in our next video <coughs>